In this video, I'll talk about taking the derivative of a vector-valued function. And here we have the vector-valued function v of t equals 2t squared plus ti plus tangent of t j. So we have our i and j components, so this is a vector. Right off the bat, let's just talk about the vector function. And I'm going to say, in general, vector function v equals some f function, f of t function times i plus the g of t times j. So right here, I've got this is the f. That's our f of t function. And then what is multiplied by j would be the g of t in our general form. Now, if I wanted to take the derivative, then v prime, v prime of t, I could say. I should throw a, a t in there to make it a function. So v prime of t equals, well, it's just the derivative of each of these. And there's a lot of cool math behind this, why this works, but I'm just going to give it to you today, and then we'll use it. So f prime of t, so we'll take the derivative of what's in green there, plus g prime, let's make that a little more apparent, plus g prime of t times j, so what's in purple there. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's say f prime, if f, f of t is 2t uh, squared plus t, then f prime of t equals 4t plus 1. We've just taken the derivative of what's in green there. And then in purple, I'll go ahead and take the first derivative of that one. So the derivative of tangent of the tangent function is secant squared. So I'll say secant squared of t. We always look for the chain rule here, especially with, um, with trigonometric functions. But it's just t, so the chain rule would result in uh, secant squared of t times the derivative of t is just 1. So we'd say multiplied by 1, but we don't need to write that here. Okay. Uh, but we always check for that chain rule when, we, when you've got uh, trigonometric functions. And then we can just go ahead and write this. So I'm going to do that. I'll change colors to a nice orange here and say v prime of t, the derivative of this vector-valued function, is 4t plus 1. That's a 1 that I want to put there. Multiplied by the i component, the horizontal component of the vector, plus secant squared t times j, the vertical component. And that's it. That's the answer there. And just real quickly, I'm going to put in blue, I'm going to put this vector. I'm just going to put a general uh, vector, I, I suppose. And let's say that this vector uh, looks like this. Let's just say it it looks like that it's for some given t. Well, then uh, for some given t, then the the derivative. What I'm going to put in orange here is the the perpendicular perpendicular vector. So you could see it as as right here. Of course, you can move vectors. You can kind of move it around and start it at the origin if you want if you want. But the point is, uh, the angle between the two is 90 degrees. All right, so it's a perpendicular vector. All right, there you have it, the derivative of a vector-valued function.